Welcome back to another video. I am Trey Herrera, your host. And if you're new, go ahead and subscribe. You know, support your boy. What are we doing today? Today, we are gonna be doing a mod that I was supposed to do a long time ago. I had fixed the issue, but the issue is back. So, this is what we're doing today. Bam. Take mass cylinder on the GTO. Let's see, I don't know, I, I bought this some time ago and uh, never installed it because I had fixed the problem. Um, initially, I had a bleeding issue um, with the GTO, so I didn't bleed all the air out of the GTO. So whenever I would get into wide open throttle, you know, the, the clutch wouldn't release all the way, so I actually wouldn't be able to shift. Um, and this is what a downfall of this car is. Um, the master cylinder on these cars are fairly weak, um, especially once you start to throw power at them or once your clutch starts to wear in a bit. We're gonna do the TIG master cylinder. It's an adjustable master cylinder and uh, it should, should cure my issues. Now, like I said, we'll be focusing solely on the GTO for the next little while. And I know you guys will really, really appreciate that. Uh, we got her nice and cleaned up. Um, so we're gonna be doing the Tickmaster cylinder um, to start a new drag pack because my old setup I had sold. I wasn't using it, so I sold it. Um, so we need to get an actual grippy tire on here so we could go and race and actually put down that 10 second quarter mile time. Some other interior stuff is gonna be happening on this thing and yeah. So right now we're gonna address this and kind of give you the walkthrough, not really a full tutorial. Um, because full tutorials are very, very difficult to film. They're very time consuming and I, I am always on a time crunch, uh, especially with having the shop and having customers. So um, I'm gonna crank this out as fast as I can. I'll give hints and tricks as I am doing it, but uh, we're just gonna crank it out. So first things first, what are we gonna do? Um, what I should have did was already jack this thing up because we will need access to the lines under the transmission. Um, and then it makes it a little easier to get in and out of the car. I might take the steering wheel off so it's not in my way on my back because I'll be under under the dash quite a bit today. But the instructions say we gotta go ahead and pull the brake booster off. Um, there's four bolts on the inside, which I've done this several times on one, my Z, two, my BMW, now three, this car. Um, we also did it on, oh, this car, which Flashback, real quick. Ooh. Damn, blood. Damn, look at this hot rod right here, bro. What is this, candy apple? <laughs> yeah. Sunrise red. Sunrise red. Jeez. Dude, so sick. Look how psyched you are, fool. I just want to drive it, but I can't right now. We're going to go take some real photos now. Look at this thing. This came so far. It's been crashed like 80 times. Yeah. Fix yeah. again. This is the true definition of a poop box. <laughs> this is a poop box right <laughs> It's a nice and clean poop box now. Now you just got to get some seats. It's golden. It's the, the true... Ripper. You look so beautiful, man. Dang, so sick. This is all, this is what it's about. Jesus hasn't stopped smiling this it, whole look, time. Look at this truck. It, it looks, everything looks good. Really Dang. Different. Sure, oh, that, that trim delete looks so nice. Yeah, dude. I wish I could drive it, but I have to, I have to go. He's right like, now. we got to go get some dinner. <laughs> now that you've seen that we got this car painted, actually, I didn't help at all with this. Jesus did an awesome job on this. He's getting it nice and cleaned up. He did, he ended up pulling out the brake booster on this and doing a whole manual setup. So now on my car, we're going to do the same. Also, if you guys notice, we got the GTOs for shop seat there. <laughs> all right, guys, the most difficult part about this right now is it's not like your typical master cylinder where you can actually access the bolts. You actually have to take the brake booster off in order to get to the two bolts. They're just in an awkward position. Um, I don't think any master cylinder is difficult, but this one is a little bit more difficult than the ones I've done in the past. All right, guys, um, we got the brake booster completely disconnected. Um, now we can access. We got one bolt out, but there's one bolt on the back side, which I couldn't show you guys, but uh, just 
about to loosen this guy up and then the master cylinder will be out and then I can install the new one. Okay, old master cylinder. This is the reason why they don't work well. Look at how little this guy is in the diaphragm. And then look at the difference. One, this is shorter. You're gonna have much more volume of fluid. Also, this one's adjustable, so you could actually compress the plunger in here a lot further, um, allowing the clutch to fully disengage, whereas this one does not fully disengage. So, not that this is a bad unit, but once you go performance, this is not the greatest. It's a lot better. So, let's get the rest put back in. So now, Tick offers this new line. This line goes boom, right there. I think this is a dash four. Yeah just like that and this guy goes right on top to this guy to that guy golden we're good all right guys after much struggle <laughs> much struggle i got the car done um i've taken it out and just around the block i'm actually going to show you guys a little bit of uh video footage of um me driving it <coughs> it literally makes your clutch feel a lot stiffer um, which is awesome. Um, I actually could feel the clutch way, way more than what it was before. Uh, so cool. Jesus came to the rescue because <laughs> I was struggling to bleed that thing and I was struggling to put uh, the brake, what is the brake uh, rod back on? It was, it was an absolute pain. Like it would slide on, but it wouldn't slide all the way on. It'd get cocked sideways. So um, I wasn't trying to be cussing on video. So that's why I didn't show it. So as you guys can see, I adjusted it out. I might adjust this one more time because it is a little bit far out than what it was before. So I may go just at, at least even with the brake pedal and then um, should be good. But right now it feels way, way better. Now I just gotta test it. GMW shirts. GMW, that's your signature shirt now. <laughs> we might need a Bernie from you now, huh? I got new tires, man. Just you did a you did a donut. You could do a light Bernie. Alright guys, so so far it's a huge difference, just an overall feel of the car. Um I definitely feel like this is a mod. I, I should have did this like, <laughs> like everything. Should have did it right away. Should have did it like ASAP. Um, but it's all good. I got it done now. Car feels way, way better. Um, in all honesty, I feel like the clutch might have been slipping a little bit uh, with the other master. Like 
not fully either engaging or disengaging. And uh, 